may god's name be glorified uh, before we get into the meditation today uh, i'll ask couple of questions okay uh, the question is from ezekiel it's a very easy one it's for all we read about the three holy men in the book of ezekiel three holy men in the book of ezekiel who are they in the sequence please yes Noah, Daniel, Noah, Daniel, Job. Is she right? Okay. Second question: What are the qualities of Job that sets him apart, or why is he in that set? Only three people were names were taken. What are the qualities of Job that sets him apart? Sorry, you will have to speak loudly for everyone. He was God fearing. Yes, one. Righteous. He is righteous, but I'm looking at that word which is mentioned for him. Upright. Yes, two, two more. Okay. Shan ki shan si bol. Yes, three, one more. Blameless. Okay. So these are the four qualities of Job which makes him stand out. that group or so many people that lived in israel in that age and even the history so we are going to look at these four qualities of job this morning please turn with me to job chapter 1 verse 1 job 1 verse 1 there was a man in the land of us whose name was job and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared god and eschewed evil okay the first look at job itself shows that he he was an exceedingly righteous man okay the first words about job or the first look at job shows that he was an exceedingly righteous man the author gives a very impressive picture of a man of course please remember when these are written for him remember that he was not sinless okay remember this okay the author gives a very impressive picture of a man who was not sinless but was complete in his obedience in his reverence to god the first uh, the first quality that we read about job was job is he was perfect okay in some translations as sherin said he was blameless okay the dictionary meaning she says spotless unblemished okay which means that being innocent of any wrong doing and no guilt he was innocent at the same time because he was innocent there was no guilt uh, to put it in simple words uh, blameless or perfect are people who do not have any blame okay they have not done anything wrong in front of god at the same time in front of man what a clean life he must have had okay aap kuch bolna sir ha okay aap hindi mein bhi pad dijiye it's good to know those words in hindi us desh mein ayub naam ka ek purush rehta ek purush tha ve khara aur seedha tha aur parmeshwar ka bhay manta aur burai se dur rehta tha okay khara he was perfect he was blameless the problem with us as humans are you know suppose this is a white board or a white sheet or plain board and if it has a speck or a spot we first look at the spot rather than the full white board or the sheet or whatever is but in job's case it was absolute clean even that spot was not there in front of god in front of man as well whenever bible whenever in bible the word blameless comes or the word perfect comes it has to be or it is a result of the walk with god the 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 following of god the one who follows god is more or less perfect when god called abram before he renamed him as abraham genesis chapter 17 when god called abram genesis chapter 17 god is telling him okay he is reminding him god had already called him then the agar and ishmael story happened and then god comes to him and tells him chapter 17 and when abram was 90 chapter 17 was 
And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, "I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect." Okay, one cannot be perfect without walking with God. This is the fundamental principle. So Job was perfect because he was walking with God. Okay, he was walking with God. Blameless, as I said, blameless people are the one. who cannot be blamed in front of men and in front of god as well you know the the uh, the reputation of job was uh, uh, impeccable okay he lived among people and among the watchful eyes of people he had a very clean reputation okay very often we forget this we think with our two eyes i see around i'm very good at looking at things i'm very good at observation my skills are my observation skills are very good and hence i can protect myself i can keep myself away from people getting to know what i'm doing but remember when as i stand here with my two eyes there are another 60 eyes looking at me and it is true at every aspect of life in every phase of life there are many who are looking at us and there is one to with whom or through against whom we cannot hide anything so there was absolutely nothing in job's life wherein he had uh, there were wherein someone could point out that this is wrong and you have wrong not just men but in front of god uh, the integrity of job though though uh, it is not mentioned how he carried out his life but yes when we read uh, the book of job a couple of years ago uh, we studied this book for the bible quiz and i had studied this this four uh, uh, words which have been used for job but with time i forgot so when i came back to this you know it reminded me of where all i have failed okay perfect upright feared god hated evil it came back and it helped me to realize first where all i have uh, where all i have failed and it also helped me to understand that these are the areas of correction which is first needed in me and i thought i will share with all of you so the integrity of job across all the relationships that he had in this world whether it was being a husband whether it was being a father remember that he was a very prominent person he was a very rich man he, he was one among the leaders of that time okay so whether he was being a leader or for a one who followed god the integrity of job stood out in all the relationships that he had so this integrity in the relationships of his life that he upheld that he held on to made him blameless and he performed all the duties that was needed in all these relationships with great diligence and that is why bible calls him perfect we will sec again uh, we will look at the word second word upright and then we will come back to what are the blessings associated with being perfect and being upright the second word which is used for for job is he was upright okay he was sidha hindi mein sidha okay ulta teda understood the ulta of sidha is teda in english it will be crooked okay the dictionary puts it as honest responsible one who can be trusted one who can be believed but the biblical standards are different unchanging standards okay the biblical standards do not change and job was someone who held on to the standards of god unwavering come what may he held on to the standards of bible or the standards of god so unchanging standards correctness or genuineness is what bible means when bible calls job as upright okay it also means uh, having or showing a very strict regard to what is right okay being upright means someone who has or someone who shows very strict regard to that which is morally correct this also signifies the plainness of heart the cleanness of heart okay when when the bible calls job a upright person it it means that there was no double standards there was no double dealings there was no deceit that is why bible calls it as it calls him as upright what was his face in front of his family that was his face when he met the when he met the common man that was what he was 
when he was in front of God. Okay, there was no double standards. Job, Bible calls Job upright because he had only one life, which was true in every sphere of life. Okay, I might be different when I'm at home. Okay, when I'm with my family, my family knows who I am. Okay, my level of integrity, my level of honesty, my level of uh, truth. Okay, my family knows, but I can behave so well in front of. And I tell you, I am talking about me. Eh? I am very good at behaving good in front of people. But my family knows exactly what I am. Maybe ninety five percent, maybe ninety eight percent, but God knows hundred percent. But when it came to Job, Bible calls him as upright. Okay, Bible calls him as someone who held on to the standards of Bible with great regard and. Actually practiced it in every sphere of life, every relationship of life. There was only one Job. There was only one phase of Job in any sphere of his life. That is why Bible calls him upright. So being upright shows that uh, uh, he, he, there was only that this, his heart was clean, and there was only one phase of Job. Well, uh, the other characteristics that we can see in Bible for an upright man is uh, first is. Uh, Uh, the upright man's heart will be for God. Okay, first thing first, an upright man's heart will be for God. Isaiah chapter twenty nine verse thirty. Isaiah chapter twenty nine verse thirty. What is that? Thank you. Yes. Okay, where for the Lord said, for me, as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. This was God talking about His people. Okay. This is just the opposite of someone who is upright. Okay, it will not just be words. Okay, it is very easy for me to come here and speak this, but God knows whether my heart is right with God. It is very easy to speak with my mouth, but for an upright man, his words and his heart go together. The tongue and the heart walk together. God was saying that these people call me only by their lips, but their heart is far from me. But for an upright man, his heart will be for God. Second, an upright man will be progressive in holiness. Job chapter seventeen verse nine. An upright man will be progressive in holiness. As I started, that Job was not sinless. Sin was in him, but Bible still calls him upright because he was progressive in holiness. We see many as uh, many a times Job reminding himself why he is Job. And why he is keeping himself from the world? Okay, one verse only we will read. What chapter seventeen, verse nine? The righteous, yeah. The righteous will hold on to that which is right or hold on to his way. Okay, at the same time, that which was right for me yesterday. when god's word reveals that to me that this is not right in my life this is not what i should be doing i leave with that i leave that and progress towards becoming what the word of god has revealed unto me so an upright man will be progressive in holiness there will be a change in his life a progressive change in life being image being developing in the image of god third an upright man orders his life right an upright man orders his life all right proverbs chapter 11 verse 3 the integrity of the upright shall guide them but the perverseness of transgressors transgressors shall destroy them okay both is written the integrity of the upright shall guide them the guiding force of an upright man will be his integrity and the integrity of highest standards even in the most difficult situation even in the situations where the challenges of life take a toll the guiding force of an upright man will be his integrity 
the third okay he will be good in bad times an upright man he will be good in bad times the lord gave and the lord has taken away that's what job said job chapter 1 was 21 he lost everything that he had okay the closest of them okay i am a father so i know how much my children mean to me okay he lost all his children more than all that he lost he must have grieved for his children he lost at the same time as well he lost his health but then job had had this grace at the same time what heart he had that he said was 21 the later part the lord gave and the lord had taken away blessed be the name of the lord and in all these job sin not not charged to god foolishly an upright man will be will be good in bad times okay there cannot be a person who does not have challenges in life whether he is poor or whether he is rich whether he follows whole heartedly whether he follows the lord whole heartedly or whether he follows the lord lord half heartedly he will have challenges in life but at the same time it is how he reacts to the situation of life is what will will give him that credit of being upright you know the foundation of uh, being upright is of course laid in the heart okay the beginning of being an upright person is in the heart but the glamour or the glory of being upright will be seen in the conduct of an individual and that will be seen specifically when the individual or the family is going through a difficult time let me repeat this the foundation of being upright is laid in the heart but the glory or the glamour of being upright will be seen when the difficult when the situation is difficult or it will be seen in the conduct of life i just saw a sister and then remembered that i should be speaking in hindi as well to main hindi mein bhi bolta hu thoda aapko dekha bhi to i just realized that i should be sharing i have prepared in english uh, but i will uh, try to put it in hindi as well okay so let me uh, uh, say it again this for uh, uh, sister and those who cannot follow english upright ka uh, hindi is seedha बाइबल uh, uh, उनको सीधा बोलता है जो uh, जो uh, परमेश्वर के वचन के आधार पे जो सिद्धांत है जो आज्ञाएं है उसको uh, बड़ी uh, सिद्धत के साथ बहुत ही uh, दिल के साथ उसको पकड़ के रखते हैं उस 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 स्टैंडर्ड्स में कभी भी वो पीछे नहीं हटता है उसके कुछ गुण जो हमने देखे हैं uh, जो सीधा मनुष्य है उसका हृदय परमेश्वर के लिए होता है पहला दूसरा वो पवित्रता में अग्रसर होता है दिन प्रतिदिन अपने जीवन में जो कमियां है उसको समझते हुए उसके छोड़ते हुए आगे बढ़ता है तीसरा अपने जीवन को सही रीति से चलाता है सही रीति से चलाने का मतलब वचन उसका आधार है और उस प्रकार से अपने जीवन को चलाता है सीधा होने का शुरुआत हमारे हृदय में होता है लेकिन हाँ उसका जो फल है वो हमारे जीवन में दिखेगा हमारे जीवन के बोलचाल में हाव भाव में दिखेगा और खास करके तब दिखेगा जब जीवन में हम कठिन परिस्थिति में होते हैं चौथा जो सीधा होता है वो बुरे वक्त में भी अच्छा होता है और वन हु इज अपराइट इज गुड इन बैड टाइम्स देन ही विल हैव ग्रेट रेस्पेक्ट फॉर गॉड एंड हिज कमांडमेंट्स जो सीधा होता है वो परमेश्वर और परमेश्वर के वचन के लिए उसके हृदय में अत्यधिक भक्ति होता है सबसे पहले सर्वप्रथम उसके लिए परमेश्वर का वचन और परमेश्वर का आज्ञाएं होता है देन अ लाइफ स्टाइल विच इज गाइडेड बाय इंटेग्रिटी ये तो हमने ऑलरेडी देख लिया जीवन का हर एक क्षेत्र इंटेग्रिटी का हिंदी के हेल्प में ईमानदार ईमानदार इज ऑनेस्ट सच्चाई कैन बी सच्चाई उसके जीवन का आधार है then will speak the truth always okay i try to speak truth always but i lie i have no problem in confessing but i lie immediately after lying i realize that i have sinned and then i hate myself i tell lord had you been had you reminded me or helped me 5 minutes ago probably i would not have lied the intention was not there but it just came out but for job or the when bible calls someone upright he calls him upright because he says the truth 
and speaks the truth only and always. Finally, there is no hypocrisy. Bible always calls someone an upright when there are no double standards. As I started when I say, shared about Job, there was no double standards. There was no double dealings. There was absolutely no deceit. And one who is upright, there is no hypocrisy. The, the very simple uh, uh, trans, uh, meaning of hypocrisy is acting. Okay, we have uh, meditated upon that in this church many a times. I can be a very good actor. Okay, acting, acting, yeah, pretending. I can be a very good actor. Okay, in front of you, you will never be able to tell what is in my life. Okay, I can be very good at that. But there is someone who sees all of it. And Job was called upright because he was not acting. He was not hypocritical in front of God or man. Now we will look at the blessings that are associated with uh, being perfect and upright because perfect and upright go together. The last one I said was that सबसे पहले परमेश्वर और परमेश्वर के वचन का बहुत सम्मान करता है वो आदर करता है हर समय हर वक्त वो सच्चाई ही बोलेगा सच ही बोलेगा और जीवन में उसका एक ही एक ही मुख है दो मुख नहीं है दूसरों के सामने एक मुख बाहर दूसरा मुख ऐसा नहीं जो अब जो सीधा है वो उसका सबके सामने है जीवन के हर क्षेत्र में एक ही मुख है अब हम देखने वाले हैं आ, खरा होने का और सीधा होने का आशीष क्या है वट इज द्लेसिंग एसोसिएटेड विथ बींग परफेक्ट एंड अपराइट साम थर्टी सेवन वर्स थर्टी सेवन वेरी इजी टू रिमेम्बर साम थर्टी सेवन वर्स थर्टी सेवन द ब्लेसिंग एसोसिएटेड विथ बींग परफेक्ट एंड अपराइट मार्क द परफेक्ट मैन एंड बी होल्ड द अपराइट फॉर द एंड ऑफ दैट मैन इज पीस पढ़िएगा सब अपने अपने बाइबल में देखिए अंत अच्छा है ओके इट से एंड ऑफ दैट मैन इज पीस देर माइट सो मच बी टर्बुलेंस इन एर अराउंड द लाइफ बट दैट हु इज परफेक्ट दैट मैन हु इज अपराइट द एंड ऑफ दैट मैन इज पीस दो सफ अस हु कम फ्रॉम केरला you know we we i i i am going to be 40 okay so i have seen two generations uh, before me and i have seen that that early days of poverty when believers were really poor okay and i have heard the story of absolute poverty okay my grandmother would share with me the stories of the pain that they underwent just because they stood for the word of god okay that is what our legacy is for all who come from kerala and those who are first generation believers no doubt that you have sacrificed so much but when we look today after two generations or few generations later what blessing kerala has enjoyed or the people who stood for the word of god okay that end is peace though my grandparents are not alive to see the blessing that his children or children's children have enjoyed but yes the end is peace their perfect life their upright life not just bless them of course they went to heaven that's the greatest blessing but they left behind a legacy which will be blessed at the same time we know of families who started well but we know that their end was bad it was disastrous because somewhere something went wrong they were not perfect they were not upright so this is a warning to each of us if and it's a warning first to me if my walk is not perfect if my walk is not upright my end will not be peace my end will be disaster let this let each of us take this as a warning and if our walk is perfect if our walk is perfect uh, upright let us rejoice that whatever be the situation now we are into which might be very very difficult but we can be rejoicing that because we know that our end is going to be peace bhajan uh, 37 ke 37 mein is prakar se likha hai खरा मनुष्य और धर्मी मनुष्य का अंत भला होगा ओके okay? अभी परिस्थिति कुछ भी हो अंत तो अच्छा ही होगा ऐसा बाइबल कहता है सो लेट अस बी री अश्योर्ड ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट वन हु इज अपराइट एंड परफेक्ट द एंड विल बी पीस एट द सेम टाइम इफ इट इज ऑपोजिट द एंड विल बी डिजास्टर प्रोब चैप्टर टेन वर्स नाइन देर आर मेनी वर्स बट विल जस्ट लुक एट अफ्यू प्रोब चैप्टर टेन वर्स नाइन तो 
He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. Okay, there is surety for them to walk uprightly. Okay, there is surety for them to walk uprightly. Bible promises food, clothing, and shelter. Even in the most difficult of times, to all who are perfect, this is the guarantee of Bible. So even in war-torn countries, even in the most difficult countries where nothing is accessible, God makes provisions for them who are upright. And Bible is a classic example. By uh, Bible gives us many classical examples of God taking care of His people in the most difficult times of their life. So there's a surety for them to walk uprightly. जो खरे हैं जो सीधे चाल चलते हैं श्योरिटी का हिंदी क्या है निश्चित 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 रहेंगे एंड उसका उल्टा भी उसी वाक्य में लिखा है ही दैट परवर्ट हिस्स वेज शैल बी नोन इफ आई एम परवर्टिंग माई वे आई कैन हाइड इट फॉर सम टाइम मे बी आई कैन हाइड इट फॉर फ्यू इयर्स बट बी रेस्ट अ श्योर दैट इट विल कम आउट इट विल कम आउट हिस्ट्री स्टैंड ट्रू लुक एट all god's great uh, great men of god in 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 our country all who have stood and shined for god but had something wrong in their life the end was before they died it came out and their end was disaster bible even in bible there we have examples of people who did hid hide things from people of god and anias and sapphira they did commit sin and they hid it from from the people of god or the apostles we read about tora right he hid it from the people of god but it had to come out it will come out so this is also a warning that if you are not upright if your ways are not upright today or tomorrow it will come out in front of the people then third psalm 97 verse 11 psalm 97 verse 11 लाइट इज सोन फॉर द राइचस एंड ग्लैडनेस फॉर द अपराइट इन हार अंधकार में ज्योति गारंटी किया गया है जो सीधा चलते हैं ओके लाइट इज फॉर द राइचस एंड आनंद फॉर और ग्लैडनेस फॉर दोज आर अपराइट इन हार्ट इट इज गारंटीड बाई गॉड दैट यू विल बी ग्लैड एंड देर विल बी लाइट If you are upright, then uh, then Proverbs chapter fourteen verse eleven. Proverbs chapter fourteen verse eleven. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. जो धर्मी का तंबू है वहां पे आबादी बढ़ेगा वहां पे आनंद रहेगा ये परमेश्वर का वचन का वायदा है सो बीइंग परफेक्ट एंड अपराइट कम्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ ब्लेसिंग्स, ओके ब्लेसिंग्स फॉर दिस लाइफ एंड ब्लेसिंग्स फॉर द जेनरेशन टू कम सो लेट अस बी वेरी केयरफुल इन आर वॉक एंड लेट अस आल्सो चेक इफ देर इज एनीथिंग ऑफ वॉट वी हैव लुक्ड अपॉन हु इज अ परफेक्ट पर्सन हु इज एन अपराइट पर्सन इज देर एनी फेस ऑफ अवर लाइफ विच इज नॉट अपराइट विच इज नॉट परफेक्ट let us put it straight let us put it perfect and let us come back to god because the blessings are manifold okay the blessings are guaranteed at the same time the curses are also guaranteed i tell you i could reflect on some of my challenges in life some of my problems in life issues in life just because i'm standing here and delivering this don't think that i am perfect and i am upright but it was a learning experience for me and it was good that after a couple of years we came back to this portion because when i studied it it helped me to reflect and brought about some changes with the time it went away but when again i studied the whole of week i was meditating upon this it helped me to realize where all i have faltered where all i have failed and where all i need to set things right with god so this this let let this encourage us also to be putting this uh, right in front of god and in front of men we come back to job chapter 1 okay job chapter 1 the third character of job ओके ही फियर्ड गॉड परमेश्वर का भय मानता था ओके 
बिब्लिकल फियर बिब्लिकल फियर बिब्लिकल फियर हैज टू डू विथ हैज टू डू मोर विथ रेवरेंस और रेस्पेक्ट एंड ओबीडियंस टू गॉड देन सम फॉर्म ऑफ टेर ओके in in the in the context of this world if i say i fear the police that fear is different okay but when when bible says he was god fearing it meant the reverence that he had for god the respect that he had for god the awe that we had for god and an understanding of who god is and what i am is what it's meant by fearing god okay someone has put it this way okay the fear of god is an attitude of respect okay the fear of god is an attitude of respect a response of reverence and wonder it is the only appropriate response to our creator and redeemer okay i'll read it once more the fear of god is an attitude of respect a response of reverence and wonder it is the only appropriate response to our creator and redeemer there cannot be any other response than fear of god if we if we call god as our creator and our redeemer there is only one response which is expected out of us which is fear of god you know of all the qualities that job had satan had problem with this particular quality okay he goes to god and complains when god asks him did you uh, see my servant uh, job you know the complaint that satan had was with this you have kept him protected him you have fenced him around job had a problem with Job, uh, God, uh, Satan had a problem with Job's holy life. Okay, fear of God also means a godly man. Okay, someone who was godly, and Satan had a problem with. So, if you are a godly man, remember that Satan will have a problem with you. Okay, but if you are not a godly man, Satan will be absolutely happy with it. Okay, always remember that fear of God is produced by God's word alone. Okay, nothing can produce. fear of god if you are not reading god's word you will not have the fear of god okay we might be very busy in this world uh, i understand because i i know of my responsibilities and the time i spend with god and his scriptures it will it will be true for all of you who are holding responsibilities the women who take care of the kitchen the children who go to school colleges i understand all of us are responsible but at the same time that does not give us the freedom not to study the word of god because fear of god will not happen will not come if you are away from the word of god if you are thinking that i don't read the word of god and i can live a godly life we rest assured it will not happen so the question is are you reading the word of god okay if yes very good you are a step towards fearing god are you fearing god as it is expected out the fear of god proverb says the fear of god is to hate evil okay we'll come to that verse the fear of god the definition this is the finest of definitions that i could come across as far as the fear of god is a uh, proverb chapter 18 verse 13 okay the best of definition of fear of god uh, proverb chapter 8 verse 13 परमेश्वर का भय मानने का अर्थ क्या है वो यहाँ लिखा है बुराई से बैर रखना है फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट हेट इवल सेकेंड या घमन अहंकार बुरी चाल एंड द फ्रॉवर्ड मॉप ओके द डेफिनेशन इज वेरी सिंपल ईच वर्ड इज सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी the fear of the lord is to hate evil everything which is dirty i should be the one who should be hating it i should not be the one who joins with that which is evil okay that will result in fear of our pride now this is a big problem the last week i i was with rakesh bhai and family and we were, we were discussing what is happening in kerala okay in the churches what is happening in churches i tell you this is the problem in kerala churches the brother and churches the pride okay the pride of money the pride of family the pride of belongings the pride of possessions that their parents have left the pride of the who's who of that land the pride of having someone in america and dull 
you know this has caused a disaster in the churches of god okay and this is a problem with each of us i tell you pride is there in everyone okay i know it is there in me and i know of all i have worked with very closely and been with very closely i know pride is there in everyone the degree varies okay some may have less some may have more we ought to ask the grace of god that god take away my pride and give me humility bible says before fall go with pride girne se pehle ghamand hai so if you have ghamand ye yaad rakhiyega ki aap girne wale hain but those who have humility god will raise him up is what the assurance of bible is so the fear of the lord is to take evil pride and arrogancy arrogancy ka hindi kya hai vakya mein dekhi vakya mein dekhi अहंकार ओके प्राइड एंड अरोगेंसी गो टूगेदर ओके अहंकार साथ में जाता है एंड यू विल वे एंड द फ्रॉवर्ड माउथ सो दो डू नॉट डू दीज आर द वंस हु आर हैविंग द फियर ऑफ गॉड इज व्हाट द बाइबल टेल्स अस ओके व्हाई फियर गॉड व्हाई शुड आई फियर गॉड दैट क्वेश्चन माइट बी ना क्यों परमेश्वर का भय मानना है ओके अब टू पुट इट इन सिंपल लाइन इट लीड्स टू फुल कंप्लीट लाइफ with the blessings that you can think of you can ask of full complete life with all blessings that you can ask of or think of we will look at few verses psalm 111 verse 10 why fear god psalm 111 verse 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom a good understanding have all they that do his commandments his praise endureth forever बुद्धि का मूल ही यहोवा का भय है ओके आपको बुद्धि अच्छा बुद्धि चाहिए यू हैव टू इफ यू वांट टू हैव गुड नॉलेज गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सीक्रेट इज फेयर ऑफ द लॉ ओके द फर्स्ट रीजन व्हाई वी शुड फेयर गॉड इज फॉर गुड नॉलेज फॉर गुड विजडम ओके विजडम to take care to lead the family wisdom to do my responsibilities at my workplace wisdom to do my part in the church all that is the source is one which is fear of the lord second psalm 34 verse 11 to 14 psalm 34 verse 11 to 14 very important verse <clears throat> let everyone turn to their bible and look at this psalm 34 verse 11 to 14 राइचस and his ears are open unto their cry okay why fear god okay for life and for good days okay jeevan ke liye acche dinon ke liye hamare maniya pradhan mantri ne 10 saal pehle humko vaada diya tha acche din aane wale acche din kabhi nahi aayenge sansar ke koi bhi hakim acche din nahi de sakte lekin acche din aapko yahan milenge the secret of good days are here okay it comes from the fear of god what did we see the fear of the god is to hate evil pride arrogancy forward mouth so what 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 does fear of god result into come here children hearken unto me i will teach you the fear of the lord what man is he that desireth life and loveth many days so if you desire life and if you want to live well and live long what you have to do okay keep thy tongue from evil thy lips from speaking guile Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Bhalai ke piche lag jao aur uski khoj mein lag jao. Tumhare din achhi honge. So the fear of the Lord will give long life and good days. Okay. Proverbs chapter fourteen verse twenty six and twenty seven. Proverbs chapter twenty fourteen verse twenty six and twenty seven. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. To to depart from the snares of death. पढ़िएगा. 
Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26, 27. Okay, four things are written here. The fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Okay, Bharosa, Jo Parmeshwar ka bhai mante hai, unka Bharosa, bhot adhik hota hai. When everything falls apart, they will be still be able to hold on to God because they fear the Lord. And then, do you want your children to have a place of refuge? Fear the Lord. Okay. The secret is, if you want your children to have a place of refuge, fear the Lord. If you want your children to have a place of refuge, fear the Lord. If you want your children to have a place of refuge, fear the Lord. If you want your children to have a place of refuge, the fountain of life is the fear of Lord and to depart from the snares of death. Mrityu ke kaabu se bach jana hai, kya bacha sakta hai? Fear of the Lord. Okay. These are verses which you should underline in your Bible. Okay. I have done that. Okay. It's good to memorize as well. If you memorize good, but at least on and off, you should be reading and reminding yourself. Even the definition that we saw, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil pride and arrogance you can underline that as well that will help you that will help you to put put away those things which are not helping you to fear the lord okay those four guarantees are there in Proverbs chapter 14 verse 26 and 27 strong confidence your children will have a place of refuge then fountain of life and you will depart from the snares of that four guarantee because of the fear of because of the fear of god chapter 19 verse 23 Chapter 19, verse 23. Okay. Bible says, Jeevan Bartha hai. Uska ulta kya ho sakta hai? Iske Jeevan ne Parmeshwar ka bhai nahi hai. Uska Jeevan ghat bhi sakta hai. Okay. The fear of the Lord tended to life and he, he that hath it shall abide satisfied and he shall not be visited with evil okay bible may we have enough and more examples where during evil times his people were taken care of and that is what the assurance of bible is even though it will be evil for the world it will not be evil for that person who puts his trust in god and is a god fearing person and he shall be satisfied now the problem in the world is we are not satisfied i'm not satisfied with my job I complain often and not satisfied with my earnings. I compare, you know, all this. Uh, very recently, I was discussing with Aramudam brother. I discussed with Vargis uncle. You know, I, I even shared with Shadi uncle. You know, how, and that all happens because I have been comparing. Okay. So, one learning which I had very recent is stop comparing. Okay. You want to have a satisfied life? Stop comparing. But at the same time, the fear of God gives us a very satisfied life in whatever is the circumstances of life. You will be satisfied. The big miss in church today is satisfaction. I'm not satisfied with my uh, with my wife. I'm not satisfied with my job. I'm not satisfied with my earnings. I'm not satisfied with my church. I'm not satisfied with my children. And dissatisfaction and dissatisfaction and dissatisfaction has taken a toll, and it is impacting the churches in India, the brethren churches, and across the world. But those who fear the Lord will be. Satisfied is what the assurance of Bible is. The healthy fear of God uh, also uh, helps a person remember uh, that disobedience, disobedience will be dangerous. Okay, healthy fear of God includes the fear of disobedience. Okay, anagya karita ke karan jo parinam ho sakta hai, uska bhay bhi. Parmeshwar ka bhai manne wale ke vidai mein puta hai. Okay, Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31 says, It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living God. Okay, Hebrews chapter 10. This also you can underline. Okay, this is a warning. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Okay, you can escape anything, but you cannot escape the hand of the living God. Okay. And it is a fearful thing. So when he takes into account, it will be done and dusted. It will be over. So, 
the one who is fearing god will also have the uh, he will also keep in mind the consequence of disobedience if i am disobedient disobedient or if i am disobeying this will be the consequence of it i may fall into the hands of the living god and it is a fearful thing then two verses to encourage us to be god fearing do ayate jo hame madad kare jo hame protsaham dega parmeshwar ka bhay manne ke liye sabse pehle malakai chapter 3 the first verse which will encourage us to be fearing god of course the blessings are there but something which is for eternity okay something which is for eternity the fear of god the blessings are not just in the world okay the blessings are not temporal it does not end here in this world the fear of god is will result into eternal blessings okay chapter malachi chapter chapter 3 verse 16 then they that feared the lord okay who are them all who feared the lord are speaking one to another then they they that feared the lord spake one often one to another and the lord hearkened okay so those who feared the lord spoke one to another and the lord was hearing and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the lord and that thought upon his name okay a book of remembrance kiske liye hai ye yadgari ka pustak kiske liye hai sirf unke liye hai jo parmeshwar ka bhay mante hain aur parmeshwar unke liye unke bare mein likh raha hai the book of remembrance god is writing in the book of remembrance for them who fear the god who fear the lord okay so fearing god has blessings for today and even for eternity then one more verse one timothy chapter 4 verse 8 one timothy chapter 4 verse 8 आई होप यू गॉट दिस वर्स ओके वी वर स्पीकिंग अबाउट अ मैन हु वॉज गॉडली ओके he was god fearing hence he was godly and the bible says bodily exercise is profit let little okay uh, those who are having diabetes those who are having blood pressure or cholesterol issue the diet the doctor suggests do some exercise 30 minutes every day walk every day that is fine bible says it profited but it profited a little okay uska fayda to hai par fayda kam hai but okay bodily exercise is profit let little but godliness is profitable unto all things ओके बॉडी का एक्सरसाइज थोड़ा है फायदे का है पर पर गॉडली लाइफ हिंदी क्या है पवित्र जीवन भक्ति भक्ति का जीवन सब बातों के लिए भला है कौन सी सब बातें हैं इस जीवन के लिए वायदा है तो है बट द लास्ट वर्ड से इज हैविंग प्रॉमिस ऑफ दिस लाइफ दैट नाउ इज एंड ऑफ दैट विच इज टू कम ओके द आने वाले जीवन के लिए जो वायदाएं हैं इट स्टार्ट विद गॉडली लाइफ इट स्टार्ट विद द फियर ऑफ गॉड सो द फियर ऑफ गॉड हैज इट्स ब्लेसिंग टूडे ऑन मी ऑन माई डिसेंडेंट्स एट द सेम टाइम फॉर इटर्निटी देर इज अ बुक ऑफ रिमेम्बरेंस थिंग रिटर्न एवरी वन हु स्पीक्स एवरी वन हु फियर्स द लॉर्ड एंड स्पीक्स द लॉर्ड हियर्स द लॉर्ड इज राइटिंग एंड दोस आर द प्रोमिस विच आर फॉर द एजेस टू कम फाइनली job chapter 1 we come come back job chapter 1 the fourth quality of job okay he hated evil okay he eschewed evil is what my uh, translation says in simple words he hated evil okay he turned away from every form of evil okay now i don't think i need to elaborate on what are the forms of evil that are there in the world okay every form of evil that exists in the world existed in those days and this world is no different every dirty thing that you can see here job turned his face away from evil ways har ek gandi baatein jo sansar mein thi us yug mein thi is yug mein thi ayub usse apne mukh ko pher leta tha he was careful he was watchful he abhorred it and he considered it as something which was detestable okay wo bahut dhyan rakh kar ke 
if you are not careful why i am saying this bible does not say that he was careful he was watchful but why i am saying that if he would not have been watchful if would not if he would not have been careful if he did not consider it as something to be abhorred and something which is detestable he would have joined with them okay but the interpretation is because he considered the dirty things of this world as dirty he was able to stand away from it stay apart from it so job hated evil okay proverbs chapter 8 verse 13 Our uh, first, we will look at Nehemiah. Okay, Nehemiah says a very important word. Okay, I'm sure you are, you might have noticed when we were studying the book of Nehemiah. Okay, <clears throat> Nehemiah chapter five, verse fifteen. This is Nehemiah holding a very prominent place in his workplace. Okay, the king has given him this authority. He holds a very prominent place. But this is what Nehemiah says about himself. Nehemiah chapter five, verse fifteen. But the former governors that had been before me were chargeable unto the people, and had taken of them bread and wine, beside forty shekels of silver. Yea, even their servants bear rule over the people. But so did not I, because of the fear of God. मेरे पहले जो लोग थे, वो सब ये 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 बातें करते थे. मैं क्यों नहीं ये सब किया? क्योंकि मैं परमेश्वर का भय मानता हूँ. Okay, because we fear God. we should not be doing certain things that's what nehemiah is reminding we come to proverbs proverbs chapter 8 proverbs chapter 8 okay we have already read that verse okay will the one who fears the lord will hate every form of evil okay job was doing that proverbs chapter 8 verse 13 we have already read it Job hated every form of evil. Okay, Proverbs chapter sixteen verse six. Proverbs chapter sixteen verse six. How can you depart from evil? Okay, how can you stay away from evil? The secret is here. If you are not doing this, you cannot. Okay, Chap chapter sixteen verse six. Second part. By the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. आप गंदगी से दूर तभी रह सकते हैं यदि आपके जीवन में परमेश्वर का भय है ओके सो जो वॉज एबल टू हेट इवल इश्यू एवल बिकॉज द फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज ऑलरेडी देर ही फियर गॉड सो इफ यू फियर गॉड यू विल बी एबल टू हेट इवल फर्स्ट पीटर चैप्टर थ्री वॉज टेन टू इलेवन ओके वी वो ऑलरेडी सीन दैट इन सैम दिस फर्स्ट पीटर बिकॉज ऑफ द पॉजिटिव ऑफ टाइम यू डोंट गेट इन टू दैट सैम में इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी गुड डेज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी लॉन्ग लाइफ वॉट ऑल यू शुड बी डूइंग कीप योर टर्म फ्रॉम इवल that list that same is repeated in first peter okay so job must have done all of it okay job must have done all of it and that is the why that is why the bible calls him someone who hated evil okay that we had read in sam 34 verse 11 to 14 the same is quoted in 1 peter chapter 3 verse 10 to 11 you can go home and read one important point of hating evil for the new testament believers i will i would like to read romans chapter 16 verse 17 and this is the fundamental reason why we do not mingle so much with the other denomination churches because there is doctrinal difference okay and the new testament believers are expected to be following this romans chapter 16 verse 17 okay hating evil one form of hating evil is this okay now i beseech you brethren mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them bible is very clear you avoid those who teach contrary to the doctrine of god's word okay at the same time avoid them who cause divisions in the church okay bible is very clear if you have someone who is causing division in the church avoid them you of course you can go speak to them correct them spend time with them personally correct them but at the same time if they are not ready to be corrected avoid them okay that is why the brethren churches you will see unlike the other churches who have interdenominational gatherings interdenominational meetings the brethren usually don't come together okay don't mingle much with the other churches this is a fundamental principle that they hold on to they avoid people who teach doctrines which are not according to the scriptural standard so that is something which we can remember now how did evil come into this world evil came because of sin till there was no sin 
there was no evil but with sin came every evil okay the prudence of job why when the bible calls him perfect and upright and feared god and hated evil it shows the prudence of joy of job it was shining as bright as his holiness that that was because he had the fear of god he was perfect he was upright and all that he was able to accomplish and he could hate evil because he had the fear of god and then we see a wonderful certificate a beautiful certificate given by god himself to job okay this was the author writing about job but let's look at what the certificate is god is giving to job job chapter 1 okay job chapter 1 the certificate of god to job or the certificate of our lord to job chapter 1 verse 8 job chapter 1 Okay, this is the certificate of the Lord, and this is the best certificate one could have ever got. Okay, the first thing the Lord says, "There is none like Him in the earth." Okay, wow, what a certificate! We don't know what was the population then, but it, whatever be the population, there was no one like Job in the world then. Okay, and the same those four words. the lord is using the certificate the lord is giving perfect upright feared god hated evil okay we all give certificates to one another okay i give a certificate to him he gives a certificate to me linson aisa hai linson waisa hai all of us give certificate to each other at the same time all of us want certificate from someone you know we love certificates from others oh linson is very good in this linson is very good in this we enjoy those certificates see very often than not the certificates that we give to one another are wrong okay because you see only the outward okay if it is genuine fine if it is approved by god fine but very often the certificates that we give to one another is not appropriate not right because we see only the outward appearance we see only that we interact as we come together as a church or in once a year once in many years i visited them okay many years we visit each other we spend few hours you don't know anything about me and the certificate that you will give me will not be right but the certificate that god gives the question this afternoon is how many of us are interested in the certificate of god okay job got the best of certificate a human could have got if god had to write a certificate for me today what would be god writing someone who is full full of pride someone who is arrogant someone who joins with the sinners what will be the certificate god would be giving to you aapko mujhe batane ki zarurat nahi hai you need not to tell me but if god had to write a certificate for you this afternoon what will be the certificate god will be giving to you is a question that you should be asking and you should be answering and if that certificate is not what job got it's time for correction it's time for change it's time for coming back to god and it starts with reading the scriptures reading the scriptures will instill the fear of god fear of god will make you perfect and upright and someone who hates evil so this afternoon i want to encourage all of you to come back to the scriptures come back to the reading of word of god come back to fearing god it has a it has lots of blessings blessings of this world blessings for eternity at the same time do write a certificate for yourself look at where you can bring about the change what are those areas of corrections which are imminent and needs immediate attention this at the same time remember the warnings that you have got today if you do not the warnings are disastrous may god give us the grace and help from above to to those which are written about job let us strive to be perfect let us strive to be upright let us strive to be god fearing let us strive to be someone who hates evil may his name alone be glorified